Okay, so let's now start talking about one of the most fundamental parts of a build chip, and that is nodes. Now, previously we mentioned about these logical steps that your workflow will take. Well, we've got our trigger in place, and of course now we need to start adding nodes. These are these bite-sized uh, kind of tasks that we will add will carry out um, particular to, uh, activities for us. Now that could be just logical checks, it could be data manipulation, it could be calling out to third party services. The world is our oyster when it comes to these particular nodes. And of course, we can also use the power of AI. That's one of the most uh, amazing parts of BuildChip is that we can use AI to create a node for us if it hasn't quite got something that we need out of the box. Now, of course, remember, nodes are being added all the time to BuildChip. So please do keep checking back. Please keep checking the documentation because there's so much uh, new functionality that's been added or will be added to the platform as time goes on. So what you see right now will likely change as the product kind of matures. So how do we start adding a node? So we've got our trigger node in place, that's the most important one there to execute the workflow. We can hit the plus here, and then we can bring up our kind of our nodes kind of window. Now, this might change a little bit from time to time when you're watching this particular video, but certainly it shows you kind of the most popular nodes that we got at the top there. We've got these flow nodes, which are really kind of important. They're ones that um, are no, no doubt you will use in your workflow journey. Um, you can see here that we kind of got this return node. We'll touch on this a little bit later, um, but we've kind of got nodes where we can kind of do loops, so we can kind of take some input data, we can kind of loop around that data, we can make business decisions or logic decisions within inside that particular lo uh, loop. And of course we can branch out and do all different kinds of things. And we've also got ones where we can kind of make a check. We can kind of say, right, okay, we need to make a decision at this particular point. Um, do we do we need to go in this direction or do we go in that particular direction on a logical check? So that's what the branch node will do. Parallel will allow us to kind of branch out and do a number of different activities in parallel to each other. And then we kind of got the repeat where we can kind of, we can do this kind of looping and say, well, actually, can you just do that loop 10 times so again lots of different things and of course we've got this one here called a switch which will then allow us to make a bit of a check to say okay if you if you have matched this particular condition then go and do this a little bit actually if you've matched this condition go and do this a little bit so that's what a switch could, will, will do and then we've got this one called empty node uh, which we'll again touch on later so they are the flow nodes they're kind of more fundamental nodes with inside the uh, build chip platform now we've got down here we've got all our integrations again we're going to cover integrations a lot more later so I'm just going to skip that for the moment I'm going to go right down to the bottom here and I'm going to cover some of these ones here because we have these utility nodes now these are kind of like a sort of functionality that the kind of the build chip team have provided some of the more sort of common use cases that you might find that you will be using with inside your workflows is always worth checking this again because these utility nodes will build up over time certainly as the community provides more input into the product then more and more of these things will be built for us because chances are if somebody is solving the problem somewhere else it will also be useful to me as a, a kind of a, a, a kind of a project builder so it's worth having a at some of these as well but again they won't always have everything you, that you need um, but certainly keep an eye on it as well and then we've got this one called my library as well so of course as we kind of create uh, sort of functionality that we would like to keep ourselves and we want to kind of use again and again and again we can kind of build up our own library of these nodes that we can kind of reuse again so again I always promote this across a lot of what I do if you can reuse something then certainly build it in a way that it can be reused in multiple places so that is just a very very quick uh, tour of of the kind of the nodes kind of panel here and what it provides to us. Let's now move on to another type of node, which is the AI node. Let's do that in the next video.